Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, I'm going to explain, go over a problem that we're getting a lot of questions from. Uh, a couple of uh, people that sent us a question recently was, one was Jan from Canada. He replaced the power electronic mojo and he was getting a full code that's saying interlock circuit. Um, it's error. And so we also had a, a repair shop in Florida that contacted us and they said they had replaced the AC compressor, which is part of the um, high voltage system, uh, the hybrid system, and they're still getting uh, a interlock full code. So what interlock basically applies to, the interlock has to do with the high voltage circuit. So all these components, including the DC to DC converter, which we don't have shown here, but uh, all these components are part of the high uh, voltage system or the hybrid system. Right here, we have the power electronic module uh, this is the high voltage battery. Right here we have the two leads that connect to this. So the things that go bad, let's, let me explain really quick. Uh, this uh, connector here plugs right there, has this 10 millimeter bolt. You wanna make sure that this is flush with the bottom here. That was the case um, with the shop in Florida. They had not, uh, they didn't have this connected all the way, pushed that all the way in. So once they reconnected that, um, the car was able to start. Uh, then another problem that happens is that if you do work on the AC to AC compressor, you plug this in, in the back of the AC compressor. If you have this switch this way, but it's supposed to go this way, then you're gonna get the interlock circuit. And Jan, uh, we helped him out uh, from Canada and that was the issue. So this was bad. Um, also, there's another thing that uh, can trigger that full code. Right here, you have this little clip. This clip, if you unplug that, it basically brings down the whole uh, high voltage system. So uh, if you don't have this uh, put back, then uh, that is gonna be, um, uh, there can be another reason. You can easily ten test this, take a digital uh, multimeter and test these two pins. They should have, uh, should have a continuous reading there. So that is important too. This, the plug right here, if you have that disconnected, you're gonna have interlock um, fault codes, but you're also gonna have uh, fault codes that say that there's no communication with an electric machine, or, uh, or in this case, with a power electronic module. So that could go bad. So this can uh, be unplugged. That can be unplugged and not all the way. This might be unplugged and not all the way. And this connector to the back of the AC compressor might be rotated and connected incorrectly. Um, but this cable itself can be faulty as well. Uh, on this cable, you can see there's a 60 amp fuse and this sometimes can blow. Um, it's usually, it blows because there's an issue with the AC compressor. So uh, some people will cut this open and then uh, uh, reconnect the fuse in there. Uh, we wouldn't recommend doing that, even though it could work. Uh, the other thing is that if the fuse is blowing, it means there's an issue somewhere else. So keep that in mind. Uh, you might install a fuse in there, but it's gonna blow eventually again, if you don't fix the root of the problem. Um, to, to test if that fuse is good, all you can do is, um, first you wanna, these two go to the power electronic mode, go right through here. So you can basically remove this cover here, the access port, uh, the, this is uh, uh, right below the exhaust manifold on the um, passenger side, and then you take the leads here, and I have that measuring resistance. So let's, all right, so this red cable should come at least to one of these, all right? So you can see that it's working. Now the other one should be the same thing, all right? So that's working as well. So these two from there to there are fine. I am also gonna check from, from here. These two should come also connect here, okay? So we should check that as well. All right, so you can see that right there is working. So the red one, that's the red one should come here. So let's check that. All right, so if this um, this fuse is blown, you'll see that you'll have no continuation of the, of the circuit uh, between here or in, in some cases between here. So anyway, you saw how that works. So these two should send, be connected to these two terminals here. These two should also be connected to that terminal there, okay? So you can check that, you can check that. And those are usually the most common issues after you, because we have had quite a few people 
uh, tell us that they can't get their hybrid to start after they replace the part. So um, hopefully this helps someone and thank you for watching. Bye.